my light switch is doing something crazy. <laughs> I tried to have some more light on in the background, but for some reason it's not working. So it's gonna be a little dark and dingy and it's gonna be a little low tech because we're doing a chatty folding laundry vlog style chat. I don't know. Um, I just wanna talk about like, so I have not been posting on my, ooh, I messed that up. So I have not been posting on my daily challenge every day. I, I've missed the last two days, I think. Um, and I just kind of wanted to touch base on why. Um, so one, my son ended up going to the ER. He's fine, by the way, like totally fine. Um, he just hurt his elbow and my husband actually popped it back into place. That's a whole other story, but that's my husband for you. <laughs> um, and we are um, just going through a lot of different things right now. Thanksgiving's coming up and the holidays and you know, I just kind of have gotten, my anxiety has gotten to a place of level 10, level 12, really bad. And I'm somebody who, if I don't take the time that I need to take care of my anxiety and mental health and emotional health, that my whole, my health, my physical health, my spiritual health, they all suffer. And so, um, and my family suffers. So a lot of moms actually have this weird notion of, I have to be everything for my family all the time. And I have the a notion of, I have to take care of myself before I can take care of my family. Um, and I have a video coming out about um, how emotional, physical, spiritual, and mental health all come together and they're all, like, you have to have balance in those things because without one, they are kind of like, you, guys, you know those guys with the plates that are spinning, you have too many plates that are spinning, and then you try to focus on one, but the other one falls. That's kind of what, like, having too many things going on at once does for me, and they all just kind of crash and burn. Um, so these last couple of days, I've taken some emotional and mental health days and physical health days because when I get so anxious, I actually start having flare-ups with my UC and I lose my appetite because it makes me so nervous and anxious and that is really bad because I used to struggle with an eating disorder and I it was a really dark time in my life and it had nothing to do with like um, body image issues. Like I think every person, not just women, not just men, but every person has body image issues. Like everybody has insecurities. Everybody has things that they don't like about themselves. But for me, it was more of I wanted to be perfect. There was this idea of perfection I had that I wanted to reach, but it was an unrealistic expectation because perfection does not exist. And so when I lose my appetite from anxiety, it's kind of like poking the bear and I have to take care of my emotional and physical and mental health above everything all the time. So I think I took two days of not posting the gratitude challenge. Doesn't mean I wasn't grateful. I try to live my life as a life of gratitude. But I also believe wholeheartedly you have to take care of yourself because if your cup was empty, then you can't give to others. And I have two people who depend on me to give to them, just like I depend on him to give to me. And so I just took a couple days to myself. And sorry, I put all of my hanging up stuff over there so I can hang it up later. Um, but so that's what I was doing for myself. I was taking some time. Um, I have a video coming out about um, how actually mental, physical, emotional, and spiritual health all go together. And I think it's important to be aware of your of when you're struggling. Um, and it wasn't like, I'm, oh, poor me, I'm struggling. It was a, I'm noticing that I'm poking some bears and I am not living to my fullest happiness and I need to check on that. And I think that's really important as women and as people that we remind ourselves to do that, especially as moms, because all day, every day we're giving to somebody else and we kind of forget to take care of ourselves. And for me, 
I can't do that because when I have a UC flare up, it puts me down, like down and out for the count. And I can't do that. I have a lot going on. And so I just decided to take one step. I decided to take steps back on what I could take step back on. And that was uh, posting every day. And also, I usually work out every single night. And I took a couple days off of that as well because I needed to go to bed and get the sleep and the rest that I needed. Um, and also I was taking my CBD, but also I had to eat a certain way um, to keep like my proteins up and I had to keep a lot of things going that way. And that also has been really helpful with my eating disorder because knowing how to eat properly because you are struggling with like body like problems or illnesses I hate to say it's an illness like I'm sick but um, when you have problems with your health you have to take care of yourself and so I've been doing that I've been taking care of myself I've been eating properly and I have been really watching um, I've been journaling a lot and really watching things that uplift my soul and feed my soul and I think that we need to remind ourselves to do that, like do the things that also feed our souls. Um, so that's kind of like where I've been, but I think um, the two, two days I missed were like laughter and liquid. And what's funny is like, I can't really do a whole video on, on liquid. I could do a whole video on coffee and that's the liquid I'm thankful for. I mean, and water, I drink water and coffee and that's it. But. Um, like, I could literally do a whole video on coffee, but I just didn't think that would be very interesting, for one. And laughter. Um, the person that I laugh most with is my husband. He's hilarious. Like, at the end of the day, Joe and I are best friends first, no matter what. Um, and we actually fell in love really slowly by being best friends. <laughs> um... I was going through a really hard time and so was he and we just helped each other through it and by laughing. So now even like when we're mad at each other and we're fighting or we have having a disagreement, I'm like, I need to talk to my best friend, not my husband. And I'm like, I need to complain about my husband to my best friend. <laughs> so that's what that made me think of. And I didn't think that either one of those were important enough for me to say, I need to make a video about this or I need to do this and compromise my, my health in the way that I needed to take care of it. Um, so like all of those things are included in this and I'm really happy I got to sit down and talk to you guys But also like I wanted to just make sure that I touched base on like my own like for my own self because I was journaling today And I was trying to make sure that I was on the right track of doing what I need to do for me And I was like, you know, I think that I should probably make a small video on this because I think that a lot of people forget to do check in with themselves and make sure that like they're doing okay and so you know I just think that that's a really good thing to do like you can like it can be casual it can be really easy and just be like hey how's my how's my mental health going today am I struggling with any anxiety am I struggling with any sadness is something going on in my life that's not is contamin is contaminating to my situation or is it contributing to my happiness and I think that that's really important to learn. Is there anybody who's toxic in my life who is creating an environment that's actually unsafe for me? Um, mentally, physically, emotionally. Um, and then, you know, go down the line of like, well, what can I do to improve this? Or ask yourself questions and check in with yourself. Um, my husband was a missionary and he set up compa companionship inventory. They would talk about like what's going on in their companionship. And um, for me... We kind of do that, he and I do that like within our marriage, but also within ourselves. We're like, what's going on with me today? Where can we improve and where can I like let things a little bit go on? So um, I encourage you guys to kind of learn to do that with yourselves because I've noticed a huge difference in my health with that. I'm also going to do a video on my um, ulcerative colitis and how it has affected my health and actually pretty much saved my life because when I um, got diagnosed, I was I had a severe eating disorder. And if I wouldn't have gotten that diagnosis, I would have never had the wake up call to stop doing what I was doing and make healthier choices. Um, also, 
if I had a, when I was having relapses, um, the thing that also helped bring me back was when I was pregnant with my son. Um, I was like, there's no way that I'm going to not either not be there for my son, one, and two, um, put his health in jeopardy when I was pregnant with him. So when you check in with yourself and you're making sure that you're on the right track, you actually tend to usually save yourself in a little bit. Like whether it be me like being dramatic or um, like emotionally said, you know, I'm saving myself from a situation that causes me harm. So I know this is pretty chatty and it's a long, oh sorry, I have the TV going on in the background. I'm watching E! News. She's weird. Um, people are going to hate this, but I do not enjoy Cardi B. Anyway, <clears throat> I always digress. But I just wanted to do a quick chatty vlog, um, an update, and just kind of like check in. And make sure that like you guys check in with yourselves and think why those things are important. Um, I'm going to finish folding my laundry and then I'm going to just kind of relax and take it easy for a few minutes, um, meditate, and then I'm going to get some well, much needed sleep. <laughs> I'm going to bed before it's even 11 because I'm just that tired. Um, I hope that you guys have a really great night or day, or, and I hope that this helped you in some way. And if you guys are having struggles, like know that you're not alone and that there are people here to support you. So make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe for more content. And I genuinely am grateful that I have this outlet to be creative and also share things that I've learned with people. Hope you guys have a good night. Bye.